Abba Joy Burnett has more on the investigation and reaction from his grieving teammates. Abba Joy. Vic and Denise Lamar Patterson is from Florida, but he came here to St. Francis Academy in Baltimore because of their really well-known football program, and he excelled here. When word got out earlier this week that he died in that accident, his teammates and schoolmates started to try to make sense of it. Everybody knew him. Like he was probably he was really like the shine of the school for real, for real. Seventeen-year-old Lamar Patterson was the shine of his school and a star on the football field. Highlights from Huddle showed him in action. But the talented athlete with a bright future ahead died Wednesday morning when a light rail collided with his Honda in Linthicum. She broke down the news and we all just broke down, and just it was a sad moment. Like that was just shocking. That it happened. Witnesses initially told police that Patterson's car didn't stop when the gates for the train started to come down. But after reviewing video, investigators are looking into the possibility that the MTA operator could have made an error because the train entered that intersection even though the gates weren't all the way down. Patterson died at the scene. His coach at St. Francis Academy tweeted, please wake me up from this nightmare. The Archbishop also acknowledged the tragedy. I'd like us all to remember Lamar in our prayers and, and reach out to his family with with love. Patterson was a sought after top college recruit with close to 20 offers already and more expected. Just this week, he posted pics on Twitter donning Penn State's navy blue and white jerseys during an unofficial visit. He was also on Virginia Tech's radar. He wanted everybody to be great, above average, not great, but above average. He wanted people to be better than great. He was a great leader. His teammates are now pledging to use their grief. As motivation. Dedicating everything we do to Lamar and keeping his legacy alive for how long we ever got to do it. Funeral arrangements have not been announced. Live tonight on Baltimore, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.